I'm starting my first big project as freelancer web dev and I am terrified and over helmet, that's fine. <laughs> if I see that I already know 50% of the project, how to do that, it's kind of scary, but okay, doable, especially currently when I already have quite a lot of experience working with different APIs projects and so on. On beginning, it was more like, I don't know, if I can cover, if I know how to do 70% of the project, I'm... Pff, that's fine, I'm jumping into that. Even if you are kind of senior developer and so on, you are kind of learning new things all the time. And that's just fine to jump on project where you don't know how <laughs> exactly to complete everything, you know? You're just learning on the go. That, that happens all the time, always. If you know everything in the job, if you know how to do anything in the job, you are overqualified, that's one thing, and most likely you are underpaid as well. So you have to look for new mm, experiences and, and new challenges. I would say there is maybe one or few exceptions. If you are kind of sitting in the job while you are kind of working on some side projects, building some side business, that is kind of comfortable place where to be. You are kind of getting decent salary and working on your side projects. In that case, that's fine. If your work is kind of mine uh, revenue and your mind focus and you're kind of making to build the best career possible, you have to look for new challenges most of the time. I'm not saying to jump between jobs every two months, but once in a year or a few years, definitely, if you are in that position. Basically, you have to, <laughs> a job you have to learn or you have to earn. So it, you have to look for challenges where to learn more or for challenges where to earn more.